I'm Grant Shaver. Uh, I'm a senior associate with KPMG LLP. I went to University of Washington and attended their Master's of Tax program for graduate work. Went to Western Washington University in Sydney County uh, during my undergrad. One piece of advice that I would offer to people that are still in school is explore as many different opportunities um, as you can. You'll never get a better chance to expand your horizons than when you're in college and explore as many different opportunities as possible and always ask questions. My name is Brad Ashby. I am a senior associate in the state and local tax practice at KPMG LLP and I did my undergrad studies at Brigham Young University finance and went to the University of Arizona, Arizona State University for law school and, uh, and studied quite a bit of tax there and ended up uh, working at KPMG because of that. And uh, my advice uh, would be to work hard and, uh, but don't get bogged down on the things that don't matter and spend time and uh, if needed resources on recruiting uh, because you're already spending a lot of money on your education, so you might as well um, spend the spend the time and money to, to get uh, the right job and find the, the right place for you to work. All right, so where does this idea of law kind of come from? Well, it's this concept of a social contract, which is a group of people coming together, and we're so used to having laws and regulations in our society that maybe we don't think of it as a group of people coming together and deciding to give up a bit of their freedom in order to promote social order. But that's really what you're doing if you decide and support a system that says you can't drive over 60 miles per hour on the freeway, you're giving up your right to drive over that speed without being fined. Uh, so, with that said, I think there, you know, there is a far end of each spectrum here. So, on one end of that spectrum, <laughs> you've got this guy. Uh, so basically, the idea here is, uh, if if it, if the profit motive gets out of control, it leads to unchecked greed, and which likely will lead to unethical behavior. As long as if you work for a 50-person company and you're one of two people in the accounting department and you're the lead accountant. And your boss comes by and says to you, hey, we didn't do so well last quarter. We were really looking for a strong finish to the fiscal year. Um, maybe we could accelerate some of the revenue that we're gonna bring in next quarter into this quarter. If you don't identify maybe as a CPA or you don't have some other context um, for consulting your ethical compass, if you will, um, it might be pretty hard to stand up to some of those pressures that you get internally. So you're a doctor, for instance, and everyone knows that you're a doctor. Um, your family, your friends, your patients. Um, and so when your patients comes in and ask you, doctor, do you think I'm overweight? Well, most people would probably say that as an MD, you have an ethical responsibility to respond honestly and say, yeah, you are. So what happens if that same doctor goes home at night and his wife, who knows he's a doctor, asks him the same question? What's the right answer to that question then? And so independence in, uh, in our profession means that uh, you know, because we're an accounting firm, because we have uh, Clients that are, uh, that are audit teams audit. We know a lot of information about those clients, and uh, and so we can't take positions that uh, you know uh, to, to buy stock or whatnot uh, in those clients because we know too much, right? So we have to be independent in both uh, both fact and appearance. A good, a good point that you know one of the reasons you want to have. Uh, a character and ethics in your uh, in your profession is is because it's so it, uh, so difficult and such a long process to build your reputation and it can fall so easily it can fall with with you know uh, with one wrong move.
had our KPMG ethics ethics uh, presentation. I think it was really interesting hearing them talk about it because throughout all our accounting classes, they're constantly telling us how when you get into this business environment, you make sure you stick to your ethics and do what's right. And it was crazy. Like our professors always talk about it, and then in this presentation, we really saw it come from the professionals themselves and how critically important it was to them that you never compromise your ethics, no matter what, for whatever, for whatever reason. I think it was really cool. Is one thing they did is they even brought like a real life situation. They ended up doing a role play at the end of the presentation where they they showed like a scenario where a manager was talking to a lower employee. It's like, hey, like I messed up, but I have a lot of things going for me. So I need you to take the fall for this one. And it's interesting because it's something you can totally see happening in your time as an accountant. And it's something that we need to know how we're going to act before we get there. We need to know that our ethics are the most important to us. And so I think the greatest part of this presentation was just showing us that all this talk about ethics, all this critical focus on it is true and that it's something that we're going to see in our life and we need to learn how to work with.